What mediation is, it's a voluntary process where you, your lawyers, the defense, and the insurance company lawyers go to a facility where there's a trained and certified mediator that we get to pick in collaboration with the defense. And the mediator tries to help us resolve the case, a lot of times through an all-day process of negotiation. Now, mediation is a relatively new thing. Before mediation, lawyers would settle their cases either by passing offers back and forth on the telephone, or maybe by letter. The other option would be go to trial. And um, of course, any personal injury case, we prepare to go to trial so that if mediation is not successful or settlement doesn't occur, we're ready to go to trial. Also, by preparing the cases for trial, we're able to achieve top dollar results for our clients. So in the event mediation is discussed by us as well as the insurance company lawyers, what will happen is each side will su suggest some names of mediators that we like and if we can agree on a mediator who's available and, and we're familiar with their track record, they've done good work for us before, we'll agree to give them a shot at getting your case settled. So we'll do, we'll continue to work up the case for trial, taking depositions, uh, hiring expert witnesses, creating anatomical diagrams and all the exhibits we would use at trial. Some of these we'll use at the mediation and make a presentation so the insurance company will realize we're ready to present your case at trial. So you and I will meet the day before mediation and discuss our strategy, discuss uh, what your target number is to settle the case. And so when we go to the mediation facility, we use Henning mediation a lot of times, the mediator will give a brief summary of what mediation is all about. Of course, I would have already told you that. But they'll say their piece about mediation and then they'll say, um, Mr. Davis, do you have a presentation for the plaintiff? And I'll say, of course. Uh, Susan's case is a case of a tragic tractor trailer rear end collision that resulted in her having to have back surgery. And she had to have a two level, two level lumbar laminectomy with fusion. She's been unable to work since that time. She's in chronic pain. She's on chronic strong narcotics for pain management. She's had to have a electrical stimulator in place in her spine. She'll never work again. Your truck driver was negligent. He fell asleep at the wheel and rear-ended Susan. So she had her life turned upside down through no fault of her own. Then we'll tell them what number we're interested in settling the case for. Then the insurance defense lawyer will make his presentation about how you're not as injured as we say you are or how you had back trouble before this all began or how his driver is somehow not negligent. And it's a process. The mediator will go back and forth from our room to the, the insurance company's room, carrying offers, counter offers, demands, responses. Could take 12 hours. But as long as the case is continuing to make progress, that is the numbers are still moving, we'll stay in the game and try to get the case resolved. Mediation is very successful. In my practice, I've handled over 100 of these over the years, and I'd say about 90 to 95% of the cases settle during the mediation or maybe in the few weeks after the mediation is over, the negotiations might continue. Some cases have been mediated two or three times, and only on the third effort did they settle. And some cases didn't settle at all, and we went on to trial and let the jury decide it. But what you need to know is the decision to settle or even to mediate is yours and yours alone. I'll try to guide you and offer you advice. I'll try to show you similar cases, uh, similar facts, and what they've settled for. But at the end of the day, the, the decision about whether to settle or not is yours.